Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's me. I think you're crooked. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, so I'm feeling a lot better. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Um, sorry for scaring you guys half to death. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was a pretty scary deal. So, anyway, moving on. Okay, we have a few things to talk about. Um, number one, um, did everybody watch Laura from Mab Mimi's Crochet's Argus of Love? Wow. Uh, wow. Um, I actually missed the, the time, so I had to watch the replay and the replay was just as exciting. Um, it was amazing. It really was. Uh, she did a fantastic job. Bravo, bravo. Um, she made over $6,000 for our gifts of love for Sharon at Cro Sharon's Crochet Corner uh, and her wheelchair. I, You guys, we are on the very tail end of paying off this wheelchair in such a short period of time holy cow like i think there's maybe eight thousand dollars left to pay off on a twenty six thousand dollar wheelchair are you kidding me bravo to the whole yarny community i mean oh wow that just that blows my mind that just shows you what our community can do um yeah i'm just i'm absolutely stunned and i'm absolutely I'm so proud to be in this community. <clears throat> it's just amazing. So I had donated um, this sweater. Oops. Oh, hang on. This sweater for the Argus of Love for Laura's. And I did it. it it's an orange. Um in honor of Laura. <laughs> so I donated that sweater and one of my subscribers actually won the sweater. Barbara Lennard, 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 <laughs> L-I-E-N-H-A-R-D, Lennard. Um, she won the sweater. So I haven't heard from Laura yet. Uh, with an address or anything to send this to. So Barbara, if you're out there, email me at crochet a at Canada at gmail.com and give me your information so I can get this sweater out to you. Okay. Um, congratulations. I'm so happy. Uh, I mean, it was just so much fun. It was so much fun to watch this process go on. And I'm even more excited about who is doing the next one. Hello, our Billy, the Crafty Floridian, is starting hers on May 7th, I think it is. Oh, fiber. Um, May 7th, she is going to be starting hers. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'll explain why I have a fiber in my eye in a second. <clears throat> um, she's starting hers, uh, I believe it's on May 7th, and it's going to the end of the month. Um, that one's going to be just as amazing it's, I mean, we all know Billy. We all love Billy. Uh, she's doing, I think she's going to be donating some Dammit dolls. It's going to be cool. Uh, and amongst other things. Um, so she is thinking about putting her, uh, her number, like uh, Laura said she wants to get up to $5,000. Well, she exceeded that, right? So Billy's kicking around the $8,000 number. So, wow. So this is going to be so fun to watch how this one goes. This one might be the, the breaker. This one might actually be the one that pays off the chair. So we really need to gather around. And the tickets are $5 for one ticket and $20 for five tickets. So, and there's going to be lots of prizes to be one. 
so yeah head over head on over to billy's channel i'll leave that link down below uh, i will be donating something again as well as buying tickets <laughs> um and uh yeah so i'm not going to tell you what i'm donating yet yet just hang on a minute <laughs> okay um I also want to congratulate Sherry K from Sherry K Loves Yarn and Crochet. Hello. She just got married. Go over to her channel. Her channel will be linked down below. Check out her wedding video. I bawled. I couldn't even get through like two minutes of this video. And I, yeah. That's exactly it. Did you hear that? That was Bailey. <laughs> um, I couldn't, I couldn't get through even two minutes. I was crying so hard. I was like, oh, George is looking at me going, why are you crying? Are you okay? What's wrong? And I'm going, yeah, I just got married. Ah. And I was just a blubbering idiot. And he's like, oh God, here we go. And I'm like, yeah, well, I got the ring, but when are we getting married? Hello. And he's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So congratulations. Holy cow. I guess she's on her honeymoon now. So yeah, so that was awesome. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, Darla from Darla's. Hang on. I got a cough. I got a cough. Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Still not quite over this. Whatever's going on with me. Um, uh, the Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla is having a 3K giveaway. Uh, if you haven't seen her video, I will leave that link down below as well. She has a big giveaway. Like, holy crap. Number one, she has a diabetic coma amount of chocolate and candy to give away in this giveaway. It's like, I looked at this and I was like, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> so um also she's giving away crochet hooks um a whole set and she's giving away some beautiful yarn uh but it's it's a fairly good size giveaway so um yeah bravo oh still fiber in my eye oh man sorry <laughs> um yeah, so anyways, her giveaway is really good. Really good. So her link is down below. Go check her out. Uh, I can't remember when the date is that it's over. I can't remember. But go check out her video. Okay, so the reason why I have fiber in my eye <laughs> is... Um, I was on Facebook Messenger. Bailey, what are you getting yourself into? What are you doing? Hey. Oh, okay. I thought she was over at the yarn and she was digging at my shelf. And I'm like, why are you digging out my yarn? Her toy was in there. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Get it. It's all right. Um, anyways, I, I was on Facebook Marketplace and there was a lady, a local lady who is a yarn dyer she's a third generation weaver um she started posting a whole bunch of stuff that she has just finished dying of course i was drooling over it but knew that i couldn't get it because it had wool in it uh but i i did ask her i sent her a message and i said hey um i'm allergic to wool do you have anything that isn't wool that I might be able to buy from you? She said, yes. I was like, oh, okay. So she dyes cotton and she dyes um, silk and alpaca, which alpaca I can use. Uh, so <clears throat> I was like, okay, this is good. So she sent me pictures of what she had. And I promptly bought some. So um, I had a good talk with her. This is the funny thing, guys. Her name is Vanessa. And 
she lives, get this, just behind me, two about two blocks away from me, on the water, in a boat. She lives on her sailboat at the dock that's just down here. Um, I laughed so hard and she thought, she was like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I mean, I could walk to her boat, right? So um, I says, my God, how do you, where's the room to dye yarn on a boat? Well, I went and saw her boat and her boat's long. It's a big sailboat. And uh, she's got, like she, she puts her yarn on the railing of the back of the boat so it hangs over and that's her drying rack and then on the side of the boat she's got her dyeing pots and everything she's got it all worked out right and I was just like wow that's really cool so another thing that she told me was she upcycles basically upcycles recycles <clears throat> uh, she goes to thrift stores and she pulls apart sweaters sweaters cotton shirts Stuff like that <clears throat> and she re-dyes it and I thought wow that's great you know so um, she yeah she's got some really beautiful colors so I started talking to her and I, I said to her I says I have an idea that I'm kicking around I want to know if you're interested she said, yes, I'm totally interested. And I was like, perfect. That's, that's great. So what it is, is I am asking her, wow, what's up with my hair? <laughs> I just realized my hair is sticking up like alfalfa all over the place. Um, I asked her if she would be willing to come up with a colorway for crochet A. Yep. <laughs> so we actually are thinking about coming up with a few colorways. Uh, I told her I wanted my favorite red, the aubergine dark deep red, which I don't have any around me right now. <laughs> it's on that side of the wall. It's up there. <laughs> um, and white or cream <clears throat> uh that would be the signature for crochet a canada then i wanted a yellow and black for my yarnabies and then i was talking to her about doing <clears throat> my favorite colors right uh which have a lot of <sighs> come on this is the I love this yarn moody mosaic and this teal color and deep purple wherever it is that's that's like a really deep purple in here uh but this teal for sure and then a, a really nice deep jewel tone purple green like my car like a deep green like that you know something like that we're kind of kicking around uh so she's like yeah we're on it and i said you know i don't want wool i don't want any wool because a i'm allergic to it and b a lot of my subscribers are allergic to it as well she said okay that's fine we may do some alpaca but we'll see I'm going to try and gear it more towards um, cotton uh, if I can. Uh, but yeah, we're working on it. So yay! <laughs> we're going to have Crochet A Canada yarn. <sighs> I'm so excited. Uh, so I'm thinking that that, if, it, if it, the timeline works out well, that that might be something that I'm going to donate in Billy the Crafty Floridian's Our Gifts of Love. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to talk to Billy 
uh, and say, hey, this is my idea, but I'm not sure if the timeline is going to work out. So I have to have a backup just in case. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm really, really pumped about this. Totally pumped about this. Uh, anyways, her, she has a Facebook page and everything. So there it is, Vanessa Cunningham. And she's cute as a button. Look at that. Look at her. Um, she's a sweetheart. She really is. And her color palette that she likes is like mine. It's all deep jewel tones, just yumminess. So I'm really excited about what she's going to come up with <clears throat> for that. Um, what we're going to do as well, once we get this going, is I'm, we're going to put, uh, she's going to put links to what she has for the Yarnabies in my Facebook group, Crochet A uh, Facebook group. And also, guys, she is going to be giving us a coupon code for her Etsy store for everything in her Etsy page, specifically for the Yarnabies. How wonderful is that? Like, wow, that was very generous. Um, <clears throat> so that's something else that we're kicking around as well. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just... I can't believe that this is going to happen. Like this is, this is so cool. I can't wait to see the yarn. So yeah, so that's what's happening guys. I am just so pumped. Uh, oh, guess what I did? I was doing, you know, how I was doing the, um, uh, scorched earth challenge. <sighs> I broke my yarn band. I took everybody's advice. The yarn ban was too restrictive for me. It was putting me in a funk. Um, so yeah, I broke the yarn ban. So I have some yarn coming. Yeah. But I did do something where I did actually take a big chunk out of my yarn. Ugh, this is a heavy blanket. Heavy. It's like a weighted blanket. Oh, I'll see if I can. Ah, and it's long. It's really long. I didn't mean it to be this long. I wanted to, it to be a bit wider. So I did three, three squares across. I should have done four. Oh, wow. Well. Let's see if I can do this without getting myself caught up here. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah it's like really 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 long uh, so that's pretty much how it looks so yeah and I forgot to put the, bring the yarn in here that I used on it hang on okay so the yarn that I used on that was the yarn be soft and sleek and the color is blushy okay the other yarn i used was the i love this yarn in rosy cheeks okay and I used, I don't have a ball of it because I used it all up, but it was the Bernat Premium. You get that from Walmart and it was in black. So what I did was I held a black and this yarn together and um, made up the squares. And I held this and a black together to make up the squares. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good, guys. I was pretty excited about it you know, um, kind of get, I wanted to go for that kind of stained glass look. I think I might've done it, I think, but man, is it heavy? Why is my camera doing this? 
Oh, why is my camera going all funny on me? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I really enjoyed making it. It came, it went up really quickly. Uh, it used a lot of yarn and I'm happy about that. So <laughs> I actually had to go to Walmart and get more black, but, um, yeah, so I was really happy with, with how that turned out. Okay. The other thing that, well, one of the things that I had behind me before I started rearranging my room was this. And everybody started asking me about it. Um, this was a fiber spider. No, bag a day. This was a bag a day pattern. I'll put that link down below. I used cookie yarn. And this color way is uh, color four six two zero one. Nope. One zero. Two no four six two one zero. Holy cow. So there it is. Uh I think this was one cake. Maybe one and a half, maybe. Um yeah. But it's um and it's very light. It's very light and flowy. It's, there's like nothing to this. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like it. I love cookie yarn anyway. Uh, it's not, it, I don't normally use like uh, a yarn that's this, this thin um, by itself. I'll maybe put two together, but it, I, I actually challenged myself to do it without. <sighs> wow. I don't know how you guys work with three, two, three weight yarn. Like, I just don't even know. They say that this is a five weight. This is not a five weight. Nope. Uh -uh. Light four, maybe. But yeah, it's, uh, I really, really like the way it turned out. It was really pretty. Oop. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, the other thing that you guys were asking me about, uh, hold on. Okay. The other thing that I had beside me was this. <sighs> to be honest with you guys, I don't remember what yarn I used. I thought this was a Karen cake, uh, like a Karen Chunky, but I don't remember. Honest to God, I don't remember. This was the Bernat Premium. Uh, but this, I'm not entirely sure. It, it's a bulky five. No, it wasn't a Karen cake. I'm thinking that it might have been a Premier yarn. I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I didn't keep the ball band. Um, but it was a chunky. Definitely. But anyways, I'm going to leave a link to the pattern. It's a paid pattern. It's a vintage paid pattern. Uh, and the, the one that I did, it, it didn't have this kind of a collar on it. But I just felt like it needed a, a collar. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can get a picture of me wearing it so that you can kind of get the idea. It's not just a, like a poncho, the arms, it's actually got an sort of an arm on it, right? So there's the end of the poncho right there. And it has like a little kind of an arm on it, but, uh, this also worked up really quickly. So, yeah, but I'm so sorry. I can't remember what yarn I used. Darn it. Darn it. It was a cake. I remember that. It was a cake. But, yeah, I think maybe it was a Karen cake. 
like a chunky I don't have no I don't have any cakes I think I used up all the cakes that I had with this but this was a really fun it's very heavy it's definitely a fall winter kind of an item okay guys that's it for me today I have to go and get my nails done Ugh, the grow out on these nails is ridiculous the grow out is like way back here because I had a polish change done and uh, yes the grow out is like there <laughs> so, so I gotta get them done before they start popping off like look at that, that that's crazy that's terrible Ugh, unbelievable so anyways okay guys I love you I will talk to you soon Okay, bye.